Hi, this is Stephen Gogoi, Technical Analyst of Allies Blue. And today, 10th October, and the time is 9.51. And this is Bank Nifty and 15 minute time frame. So as we discussed yesterday, I given a resistance zone. So here was our resistance zone. And the high point was around 28,395. So at that time, price was somewhere here. And I told that if they break this resistance zone, so here you can see this resistance zone, and we can go for buy. And the somewhere first target was here, and the second target was there. So why I place this is a first target and second target are there. So let me uh, tell you. So now we have seen uh, this zone here. We have seen this zone when price approach. So most of the people are thinking like that. Uh, so let me tell you. So this was supporting zone. Oh, sorry, uh, the resistance zone. When price is approaching this resistance zone, when they are approaching like that, high candle, small candle, even smaller candle, and something very candle. So when they are approaching candle toward that supporting or resistance zone, there's a high probability to reverse back from this area because the momentum of this candle are decreasing. Got it? Okay. Now you can see here uh, in this area. Okay. Look at this area. Uh, that was a resistance zone here. And when candle are approaching, small candle followed by a large candle followed by even larger candle. And the when they are approaching this resistance zone, you can see here the candle was bigger than previous candle, right? So that means bullish momentum are increasing. So similarly here you can see this is a small candle followed by a large candle followed by even larger candle. So when they are approaching it is a high probability to break this level and targeting to what the next target right now you can see here we have seen this small candle followed by a large candle here and even larger and after that you can see they broke this resistance zone that is our buy entry right so i place two target one is here and the second is Two eight nine seven one. That was my second target, and the first target was two eight uh, five eight seven. Let's take a look in a four-hour time frame. Uh, now, in a four-hour time frame, we have seen uh, this was first uh, target that was higher point, but that is not very strong, right? So. Next, you can see this is a multiple rejection are there. Have you seen? Multiple rejection are there and price reverse back from this area when price is approaching. That was a large momentum bearish candle. After that, they broke this area. That means to break this supporting line, we need a more force to break this area. Got it? That means more momentum suppose why i'm talking suppose uh, uh that is you right like that and you are pushing something like that some vehicle whatever right something are there for example not exactly accurate this is the vehicle right so when we are pushing this vehicle if this road is very flat, so smoothly you can push it, right? No need too much force to push ahead this line, right? But in this area, some like speed breaker are there, some uh, like uh, speed breaker are there, right? Like that. Got it? So when you will push there in that car, uh, this car from that area, right? So 
at that time you need more force to take over this area right similarly to break this uh, like area we need more force right so after that we broke when you are reversing from that area suppose you don't have like that much force you will reverse back right you can't go forward first time we have seen large candle followed by small candle followed by even small candle that means the force are decreasing in this area that is why price reverse back when you push that car toward this area you don't have that much force and car reverse back again that is reverse back and the second time when you attempt you have more force and push the car and you cross that area right next similarly here we have seen more force to break this area so that is where strong support now that strong support are becoming a resistance right now that means we need more force right so let me show you when in a four hour time frame in a four hour time frame we have seen this large candle but followed by even small candle in that area that means we lose our momentum by our momentum so after that today you can see price just fell down but in this area in this area in a 15 minute we had more force and after that i we broke that uh, resistance line now where is our entry point and which direction so now you can see according to the price action method we have seen lower high this is lower high and higher low and after that they create a lower low and now create a high lower high right and if you want to see uh, according to the candlestick pattern we have seen uh, if you calculate these two candle it is called one black crow candle so every time i'm using that word one black crow candle are there right so if price close below this previous resistance line so uh, now it is becoming a supporting line now so this green line right if price cross below uh, sorry close below this line so we'll confirm this is a one black crow candlestick pattern has formed right so once they appear this type of candlestick pattern will confirm price will reverse from this area and downtrend will continue and targeting first target will be here previous lower point and the second target will be here somewhere around two six eight uh three four uh three zero three nine right so that is our next target so now uh if you want to enter you must wait to close this candle or if you want to enter in a small time pam you just let me show you in a 15 minute time pam now you can see this is a 15 minute time pam and you just wait to break this level and let the let the price close below, below this supporting zone right or if price break this level and when they will retrace toward this uh, supporting line and it will be become resistant so that will be your uh, entry point for the sell right so i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please like and subscribe thanks for watching